So in the previous video, we talked about goals and setting realistic goals where basically you don't try to just do the entire rail the first go. You want to incrementally challenge yourself. So when you're learning this trick, it's no different. You want to definitely start with just a tiny bit of the rail and work your way more and more and more and more until eventually you can start maintaining yourself in the grind and holding it easily. The reason that people say that this trick is a little bit harder than the backside version is because when you're in this grind, you're kind of going backwards through this entire grind. And what I mean by that is when you jump onto the rail, you're gonna be jumping onto it with the rail facing you. But when you jump on, you're gonna actually be kind of grinding backwards. And that's the reason this trick is a little bit harder for people is because you can't see too well. But I'm gonna teach you how to combat that and make the trick a little bit easier because I really enjoy this trick and I don't find it to be a blind trick, but some people do. So I'll explain to you that tip. All right, so let's go back to backside board slide really quick. When you're in the backside board slide, I want you to think about how your shoulders are faced. Whenever you're doing the grind, your shoulders are going to be facing forward when you're grinding through the rail. You're not gonna be turned all sideways. You're not gonna be all funky on it. When you're in a board slide, you are going straight. Like your body is facing forward, your scooter is sideways, but when you're scootering, you're kind of standing sideways. So when you jump on the rail, you're going straight. But when you're doing a front board, one little tip that I've found that has really, really helped me is I've tried to mimic my shoulder position in a backside board slide, but in a front side board slide. So my position when I front board is like this, as if I'm, doing any sort of other grind, so that way I can see. But the difference is, is my feet are a little bit twisted up. So when I'm in the front side board slide, my shoulders are facing forward the direction that I want to go, but my feet are a little bit twisted up compared to a backside board slide. When I'm grinding in it, I usually have my deck at a little bit of an angle like this. Sometimes I end up front boarding at a complete T 90 degree angle, and I think this is the most proper way to do it. Most of the time I end up front boarding like this. When I do this, my foot is usually in that T shape with the rail, but my back foot is where it gets a little bit weird. My back foot, I actually don't put a lot of weight onto it. And the reason because of that is it's kind of like my safety mechanism. So you saw in that attempt, I dragged my foot across the rail. And I do that when I get scared on rails and I don't really want to commit fully. I kind of use my back foot as like a wheelie bar when I'm grinding across the rail. A lot of people say that I'm kind of weird for doing that, but I think it's a really easy way to get out of the grind. I think if you initially start learning the grind and use your back foot as kind of a safety to put down the rail behind you to like slow yourself down or maintain balance, I feel like it's a really good way to get yourself out of a sticky situation. Another cool thing about doing that is if you're grinding a straight rail or not a curved rail or not some funky obstacle, but just like a straight rail, you don't even have to look to determine where to put your foot. As long as you're grinding straight, if you put your foot behind you, you're gonna touch the rail. And when you get into this position, like you're pretty solid on it. Like I'm just standing up here, like it's a pretty good position. And then if you get freaked out or anything, you can you can basically just like ditch your scooter and then run on the rail. I don't know, you kind of have to be a ninja when things go bad. So when you're doing this grind, something that you wanna do is you want to try to put the rail underneath your front foot. That's really important because when you're doing this trick, you're gonna be putting most of your weight on your front foot. And that's putting your, that's putting your momentum forward, putting your body weight to your front foot. And basically when you put all of your momentum on your front foot, that'll give you a good balance point and that'll give you a good place to put the rail. All right guys, let's talk about approaching the rail right now. This is gonna be a little bit tricky if you guys are new into this trick. So this trick is called a front side board slide. And because of that, no matter what, you're gonna be jumping onto the rail into a front board. Although when I first started learning this trick, I like to do this version called a suicide front board. So the proper way to front board is basically coming up and jumping on the side of the rail. But a suicide front board is when you approach the rail straight on. Like it's not front side or back side, you're just going straight right at it and it's basically where you go straight at it and just jump on top. When I first started learning this trick, I find that to be a little bit easier just to go straight at the rail and jump on top because when you jump into a front board, you kind of have to hop on and rock a little bit to get your balance point perfectly. But if you just want to jump straight into that perfect balance point, I find it to be a lot easier if you jump straight into the grind. If you start on the other side of the rail over here, you jump over the rail into a front board, 
That's just called a backflip. Let me show you a suicide. So a front board is a really, really awesome trick to learn. And the reason that I say that is because it's a base trick. What I mean by a base trick is you can do so many tricks based off of this trick. This is the beginning of doing so many multiple different types of grinds. They all kind of have a little bit of front board implemented into them. If you do end up learning this trick or have it good, try putting spins into it. Try doing different combinations in it. Try doing board slide to front side board slide. Try doing front side board slide to back side board slide. Try doing lip slides. The combinations with this trick are truly endless. I would suggest if you get it good, just don't even stop there. Just keep trying to add to it and keep trying to progress how many more tricks you can do. So if you're having some trouble learning this trick, a trick that I'd recommend learning is a front feeble. I'm sure you can feeble grind. If you can't, go learn that. But the opposite of a feeble grind is a front feeble grind. And that's pretty similar to a front board. And that's one trick that I found that has really helped me progress and learn this trick so well is getting good at front feebles and then translating that muscle memory over to front boards. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Front boards are one of my personal favorite tricks to do. Um, if you guys have seen any scooter clips from me or any Instagram videos or anything, you'll know that I love front boards. And I think that you'll really like them too if you take the time to learn them. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this video a like. Make sure to subscribe. Go to undialed.co. Peace out.